What are we going to do? It's time out for not loving one another. It's time out for the stipulations of the world being implemented into the house of God. Y'all know what I just said? Y'all know what I just said? It's time for godly folks to be godly and not let the world come in dictating what goes on in God's house. It's time for a true understanding of God's word. While you were talking, while you were talking, I need you to come back up here for me. Please, man. Please, man. I don't, I don't know, this is, this is wild. I hear the Lord saying there's some who don't know their purpose, who don't know that they have a gift, that are so caught up in what people are saying, they're not hearing what God is saying. Or perhaps you've been hurt using your gift to the point you say you're not going to do it any longer. Whatever we do, and I had to learn this the hard way, we don't do for men. We do for the Lord. We do for the Lord. If there is one that needs prayer, First of all, to let everything go. Second of all, to, to, to discern their gift. Will you come? Don't worry about what folks got to say. Folks gonna talk about you anyway. Second of all, you have heard the word and you need to know that God loves you. The doors of the church are open. If there is one who has not accepted him as Lord and Savior, will you come? I'd love to be your pastor. The Lord and everything, I'd love to be your spiritual leader. But don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to come to him today. If the four-year-old baby can come, why can't you? Are you worried about what folks going to say? Baby, they going to talk. Let them keep talking. Somebody here has a gift. And God is calling you. Come on, my sister. Don't worry. Come on. Come on. Someone has a gift. But the devil has been trying to stop everything you've been doing. And we've allowed him to. There's somebody here that make up in their mind, I'm through letting the devil have my life. I'm through not doing what God has called me to do. I'm through. There's still room for some more. They have to understand that God's work must be done. God's work has to be done. Will you volunteer your life? Personally, the Lord called me at 25. Y'all know this. Y'all know I wasn't ready. 25, I'm doing my thing, living my best life, doing me, loving me. And when he called me, I swore he called somebody else. And I was just in the way, eavesdropping. But the best thing I've ever accepted is becoming a child of His. Preaching, teaching His Word. You need to know today that, that, that have you heard me say it before? Church as usual is over. But is it over for you? Do you want more if you want more, you got to give more. And you have to give of yourself. You have to give of yourself. So is there one that don't know? Lord, I, I surrender to you, but I don't know what to do. 
Let your pride go. Let your tradition go. And allow God to have his way in your life. Our, our sister wants to pray for you today. Don't be ashamed to come. Don't miss out on an opportunity worrying about what folk have to say. When you come, people are always going to say, do something. Come on, my brother. Come on, my brother. God is calling you in this place. We don't do this normally. But I feel there's so many that want to work. But you're being restrained by tradition. Being restrained on what people will say or might say. Baby, you can't worry about that. You have to stand on your own self. And allow him to use you. Will you come? Will you come this morning? Time is running out. I heard a pastor say, the cemetery is filled with unfulfilled dreams. Dreams that did not come to pass. Dreams that did not come to fruition because they let people and things stop them. God has work for you this morning. You've been bound too long. You've been caught up too long. Love. Who do you love? If you love him, let him use you. If you truly love him, let him take control of your life and watch him change your life. Personally, personally, my, me and my wife were talking and the Lord reminded me when I was a little boy, this is going to sound real crazy, I, don't, I didn't get many A's in school. But I remember doing a report on the state of Louisiana. Never been there, never heard of it. And I, I believe that was my first A. And a calm feeling came over me. Now y'all know me, I'm Texas through and through. The calm wood and, and, and mesquite run through my back. But I didn't know he was telling me at that young age, I'm going to send you to Louisiana. God has a way of letting you know things. And God is telling us now that it's time. It's time for us to reach this generation. It's time for us to let go and let go. Again, will you come? Yeah, we, we, still, we have room for you, but will you come? Will you come to surrender your life? Surrender yourself to God. It's ours to all yours to accept or reject. He's waiting on me. I never knew what he wanted me to do. And Sister Boyd, every now and then I still second guess what he wants me to do. And one thing I realized, if I don't love nothing else, I love proclaiming his word. I love seeing this. I love seeing the Holy Spirit move. So now I know I have a self-worth now. Do you have a self-worth? You have to have it. You have to know what God is calling you to do. 
Don't let men, don't let tradition, don't let the devil ever stop you. May God bless you. May God keep you. I'm going to start at the top. I'm 